try to avoid it unless I really is something that I'm looking for and I'm ready to go and do some shopping, you know, blow some cash for the day. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am doing a, another Christmas haul video, all the items that I bought for myself from Chanel for Christmas. So if you do like luxury videos and you aren't already subscribed of course, then please I would appreciate if you would hit that subscribe button below and also the bell so you can be notified when I upload a new videos which is generally at least once a week. So it is that time of year where we all go a little bit crazy buying presents and I did go a little bit crazy this year buying presents for myself. I didn't do any like huge massive massive purchases um, but I did buy a lot of like little purchases oh i suppose i did buy one big purchase i guess but most of my christmas haul to myself were um items that were under say about one thousand dollars australian sort of thing so yes i do have some items from chanel i must admit i am actually really loving chanel at the moment um yeah maybe i've been bitten by the chanel bug and Let's just start unboxing these presents to myself because I can see my battery flashing. So this is the new um, Christmas packaging. So it's got the Camellia ribbon, which has got, it's kind of like a cross grain sort of texture. It feels very, very firm. It's got Chanel written all throughout in like a blue kind of denim -y sort of look. That's the ribbon. So I do have two bags that have come with the Christmas packaging and one that hasn't. Um, maybe we will start with the one that I've actually bought pre-loved. Yeah, we'll start with that and then we'll do the store um, Christmas packaging unboxing afterwards. So in this bag is uh, something that I actually bought from Rakuten Global Market. It's something that I've spoken about before on my channel. When I do want to shop pre-loved, particularly for Chanel, I find that they have fantastic pricing. And I did buy this from that marketplace. It was from a wonderful consignment store in Japan called Reclo. Um, Reclo or something like that. I bought from them before. I bought items from them before and they're very reputable, got fantastic packaging. Um, the item was packaged really well. I actually had to use the Global Rakuten Express on forwarding service because this particular consignment store does not ship directly to Australia. Unfortunately, you have to um, use the Global Rakuten Express. I have bought from them in the past when they had listed on eBay, but they don't seem to put all their inventory on eBay. So this particular one was not on eBay. It was only on Global Rakuten Marketplace. Um, I paid $82 to ship this item because the box is quite big and it ended up being heavy. So let's open it up and inside is a pair of shoes. Now this might be a bit of a giveaway but I was quite surprised that it actually came with this item back here. And this is the Chanel, I think it was like the, um, the shopping bag. So yeah, I was quite surprised it actually came with this Chanel shopping bag, which was exclusive to items that you bought. I think it was in the spring summer collection that just passed. Any of the PVC items, I think, only got this bag. I'm not sure. But yeah, from what I understand, it kind of came with that spring summer collection. So I was actually surprised that it came with this. They didn't advertise that it was actually going to come with this sort of shopping bag, which is pretty cool. I mean, I don't know if I would really use it because look at that. It's like big and wide and kind of like awkward-ish. It's not really comfortable, but I might be able to resell it. Who knows? Maybe they sell them sell on eBay and people get some use from them, from them as like beach bags, but I'm not quite sure it's for me to really keep. If I can recoup some money back from what I spent, then why not? So inside was in fact shoes. They are shoes and maybe it's a giveaway because I mentioned yeah. the word PVC. So inside, they are pre-loved. I did buy them pre-loved. They are still in great, in excellent condition. They've hardly been worn, however. Sorry, you can probably hear my daughter. She's just playing in the mirror. Um, so these are the shoes that I picked up. However, what I was going to say was, even though they appear to hardly have not been worn, because um, you can just kind of tell by the soles, they just look like they've hardly been worn, maybe only once or twice or something like that. The PVC on these shows wear more than on leather. It's quite obvious. And if you look here, there's actually some scuffing on the PVC already. And it's mostly on where it looks like they've maybe rubbed together on the inside. So there's scuffing over on the other one as well. It's not exactly greatly noticeable, but I can see that there is some scuffing. That's pretty much the only signs of where is is. The scuffing on the PVC. So if you do have these shoes, just bear in mind they're going to show wear a lot sooner than say leather shoes and I don't think there's really much you can kind of do to sort of fix 
that. Like with this particular one, it looks like she's right, maybe rubbed up against something that's rough. <laughs> like maybe, I don't know, cement, or I don't know, something. But it's kind of got more of um, like a, it looks like it's kind of peeled the PVC slightly. Now, I did buy them pre-love, so obviously I was expecting to buy them well less than retail price. The retail price on these in Australia was $1,250 or $1,150, if I remember correctly. And I paid $575 for these, plus the $82 shipping from Global Rakuten Express. But I did use Rakuten like Ebates, so I should get some cash back anyway, so it should bring down the price. So let's say all up I paid $650, $650 and hope, hopefully it comes down to around about maybe the low 600s so I'm still saving at least at least I have saved um, I think I would have saved half the price on retail I had to take a quick break to have dinner I was starving so where was I um, I just also thought I should mention as well with these meals if you are looking to get them and you're unable to sort of try them in store and say you're gonna buy them pre-loved or you know they come back with them or whatever they do run true to size in my opinion they are oh. narrow at this point here I do have narrow feet so I have absolutely no problem with it if you do have wide feet to be quite frank I don't think that these shoes are for you if you do have wide feet because the PVC has virtually absolutely no give they are not leather they don't stretch so if you have wide feet you probably want to make sure you at least buy a sizing that's specifically for wide feet um, but yes that's just those meals now let's move on to the actual Christmas stuff the Christmas packaging unboxing of the items that I actually bought from the store so um, I think I'll leave that one till last so here is the box here like I was saying before that's the pretty Christmas decorations this is a larger ribbon so you can actually sort of see the um, detailing of the ribbon I prefer probably, I think it was, was it last year's Christmas packaging when they had the camellia with the gold on it. I've got one over there if you can sort of see it when it's got that, that plasticky kind of gold. I prefer that camellia. I think that one looks nicer. But this is still nice, you know. They can't just do the same thing every year. But yeah, that was very, very nice Christmas packaging last time. So let's undo this. Um, when I went to the store to go and um, ask if they had these, I was quite surprised that they did have them. Usually they don't, especially um, in my size. So again, these are shoes. Um, so yeah, I picked these up on the first go. The other item I ended up going back for later on in the day. So I'll show you these, which are the shoes. If I can get them out of the box. Without showing you the sides, so you don't know what they are. So there's the front. Oh, there wasn't the flower. The camellia flower has fallen off. So that was somewhere on there. Okay, let's open this up. So you can see what other pair of shoes I got. <laughs> I actually, this is actually the second time around that I've bought these, this particular shoe. I had this before in the size up and I bought it um, in my first pregnancy when I just I think I bought it when my feet had swollen so I went up a whole size but then after the pregnancy my feet swelled down so I ended up having to sell them because they were huge on me like ginormous so now I have stuck to my true size and they still fit me really well I haven't had any sort of swelling in the feet or anything like that this pregnancy um, yeah I, it's been pretty okay I think the only swelling I've maybe sort of had is maybe in the fingers and that's about it so care booklet trying to open it delicately but that's not going to happen and so where's my dust bags did I not get dust bags I just realized that I did not get any dust bags what the heck all right I bought these from a different sales associate from someone totally different um, she was really, really helpful, very friendly, but looks like she's completely missed out on giving me the dust bag. So I will text my usual sales associate and let her know that I haven't got the dust bags. So, and I'm just having a little bit of a close up. There is a, there is a tiny, it's not a popped stitch. It looks like it's the tail end of the stitch. Look, to be quite frank, I think Chanel's quality is not like it used to be. So it looks like it's like the tail end of the stitch and they've got the um, 
I don't think you're going to be able to see it. Maybe so it's just here. It's the tail end of the stitch. You can kind of see it sticking up there. And it's actually got that wax coating at the end so it doesn't fray. So it's the tail end. I suppose it's not really that big of a deal. Like, you can't see it. Like, from there, you definitely can't see it. From there, I know where I'm looking for it. I can see it. It shouldn't compromise the actual stitching at all because it is just the end of a stitch. Like, the stitch has to end somewhere. So I don't know if I could be really bothered to kind of do anything about it it was the only pair that they sort of had as well because this size is in the size 36 which is my true size they never have stock of this particularly in the beige black espadrilles they are harder to come by look they're still a classic line it's just that they're quite more often they sold people want them so in the beige black they are harder to come by and in my size they're even harder to come by these were 970 so they have gone up quite a bit over i think the past couple years i think before they were like 900 dollars, and they're now 970. i decided to go ahead and buy these again because i knew that i did like them i had them before i know that they're comfortable and I had undenied about between this and the ballet flats but the problem i have with the ballet flats is that i need to go down about half a size but then when I'm walking around quite a bit, my feet swell just normally, even in regards to pregnancy. And then I need to be that like normal, my, I need to take my normal true 36. So I find that I've, the ballet flats are a little bit, mm, they can be a bit annoying for me because they don't have that extra room for swelling. If you get, if I get the 35.5 and then if I get the 36, they're very loose on me. So I don't know. I think with the ballet flats, if I am going to get them, I might just go ahead and get them pre-loved, maybe in a 35.5. Maybe they've been extra stretched, so I have that extra room. Because I have no problem with buying pre-loved shoes. It doesn't bother me. You know, as long as I'm making a decent saving, I do not mind. I just stick clean the shoes. I, you know, sterilize them, use a leather wipe, that sort of thing. So I'm not fast. But yes, those are the classic Chanel lambskin lamb lamb, lamb skin espadrilles okay i got that one out and i'm gonna have to message my usual sales associate and let her know that i didn't get the dust bags for that now the last chanel item i have is in this little bag here and this item um i i had to be frank i had actually been wanting something like this i'd been looking at vintage ones and i just found that they were like i mean for the fact that they were vintage they were still really expensive because um, the ones that I wanted, I wanted to make sure that, um, I guess you'll see in a second anyway. Let me just open this up. You'll, you'll see in a moment what particular style I was after. And then when they had these, these particular ones in store, I was like, oh, I really like them. They're pretty much what I've been looking for, like in pre-loved, vintage. Um, but I decided, you know, to kind of walk away from the store, have a think about it, go do some other shopping and see if I was still thinking about them. And I was, so I ended up going back and getting these. And I, so obviously they've come in a separate bag, which is good. Don't have to worry about the fact that there's any missing dust bags with this one. And inside is a jewelry piece. It is fashion jewelry. I don't, um, I don't tend to buy Chanel fashion jewelry because I have had, um, I have sensitive skin, so usually fashion jewellery doesn't go well with me when it's um, uh, like got, I don't know if it's like a plated, but anyway, I, I'm much better with pure 9 karat gold or pure silver, that doesn't give me any allergies. I can use leather bracelets, that's no problem, it's just the plated sort of stuff, fashion jewellery that I get a slight allergy to, especially in the heat or if I wear it too much. We've got the care booklet again, and then there's a foam sort of separating it and protecting it, which is good. Whoopsie, there goes my stuff. And inside, and it's on like a bit of string. Okay, hang on, all right. Well, that's them there, but one of them is caught on a bit of string. So they are hoop earrings. I think that these were actually released. I remember seeing them maybe, Maybe was it two seasons ago, maybe, or something like that? Just noticed something. With these particular earrings, it looks like this the way that they do the, the post is on an angle. If you can see that there. I'll try doing it this way as well. See how the actual post is on an angle? It must be deliberate because they're both exactly asymmetrical in that direction like they're both in that angle direction and they're both going inwards so on the side on either side the way that they're kind of going in you've got the side with the diamantes and then that's 
um, the same as for the other one, the side with the diamantes. And then on the inner side of the hoop is the side without diamantes. So that's just, just the normal kind of, I don't know what you call it, but yeah, it's just not with diamantes. So only one side has got diamantes. I suppose it's like a, like a rope chain effect or something like that. But yeah, they must just deliberately do the angling with the prong for um, the PSD is perhaps so it actually sits better, I suppose. Uh, so I wanted hoop earrings. I wanted some kind of dangly earring with like the big CC like that. Or I wanted like hoop earrings with the big CC. I wanted something that had like the nice CC logo. I know that everyone loves that Chanel kind of earring. I'm not sure I'm really into that. I don't think it's exactly my style. Um, I don't know, just something about it. It just, uh, maybe it's too youthful or too modern. I don't particularly like those Chanel that Chanel earring that everyone else loves. They do look really nice. They look nice on people, but there's something about it that just doesn't doesn't do it for me. Like I just there's something there that I think that if I wear them, I'm gonna feel silly. But whereas these, I feel like these are more my style. So I'm gonna chuck them on now so you can see how they look on me. So the angle, the way that the angle goes in, it's going towards your ear. So the prong when you wear them the right way with the diamantes facing out, if I can get it in my ear, the prong is going towards your face. Oh my gosh. Give me a second, I'm gonna have to stop talking and just put them in. So I had to actually literally look in the mirror to put them on, that's how difficult they are to put on. So I mean, that's not necessarily a bad thing, it's just the design, the way that they've set them up. So they've got the prongs going in towards your face. So I suppose that helps with the angling of the earring so it's not kind of sticking out like Dumbo kind of thing. The way that the earrings sit, it sits nice towards the back of your neck. So I feel like these definitely more so suit my style. I've just zoomed in so you can get a better look of the earrings on me. They're not too big, which is good. And they have like a nice sort of drop to them. They're not too low. Yeah, I think that they're fairly in proportion with my ears. Let me just zoom back out. That is the last item that I bought from Chanel, from the Chanel store. So I'm a bit, I'm still keep thinking like, the dust bags, where's the dust bags for my shoes? I'm really happy with all the items. I'm especially happy with the hoop earrings. I think that they are a great um, addition to my jewelry collection, even though they're fashion jewelry and they're not real gold. I have to be mindful of that, how long I wear them for, um, especially when it gets really hot, I might get kind of irritated. I tend to get irritated with the Chanel earrings if I wear them for too long and in the heat, they might get, ears get a little bit itchy, which is very annoying because I like their earrings. So this is actually the first earrings I've added back into my collection. I ended up selling the other ones because of the fact that I had the irritation. But I think that when it comes to Chanel, um, when you have something that's more statement like this, it's like more worth the sort of purchase in my opinion. Like the classic Chanel earrings are really nice and cute and sweet. If you have no allergies and they're a fantastic buy, but if you do have allergies, like I feel like those kind of big more statement earrings that are more obvious Chanel statement, nothing really kind of like it and more kind of worth that kind of splurge and then more worth keeping in, in your collection even if you can get the allergy, you know, after some period of wear. I actually like the Louis Vuitton hoop earrings as well that they have. I'm thinking about those, so I'll see how I go with these and if they all go well, then I might go ahead and get the Louis Vuitton hoop earrings, but I think that'll be about it for big statement earrings. Yes, I also wanted to mention, um, because I did do a shopping vlog on that day and Chanel was <laughs> actually really nice. I was able to do quite a lot of vlogging and um, taking pictures and stuff like that. I was able to do a lot of recording, which usually doesn't happen. Maybe it's because I'm pregnant and they didn't want to tell me not to. They felt like bad maybe to say to the pregnant lady, stop filming. But yeah, I was able to do quite a lot, which was good. And I looked at the Chanel 19 bag in the small and I really, really, really like that bag. Like, I think it's a fantastic bag. The only thing that's putting me off is that price. It's Seven, I think if I remember correctly, 7,100 or something like that. It's definitely in the $7,000 mark, which is, whew, that's quite a lot. Like, I know I buy Hermes bags, but Hermes bags are in a very, they're a different, a different realm. The Chanel 19 bag is a new bag. Um, you know, what if it, you know, I'm just kind of thinking it's a, it's a trendy bag, even though I really like it and what it offers. It's just very expensive expensive for a bag that I'm not quite sure is going to be a classic but then the downfall with Chanel is that it's seasonal so if you don't get it you might miss out and if they bring it back it may be even more expensive than it was the first time around so I don't know I'm thinking about it but I, I don't I don't know quite if I could 
pull the trigger on buying the Chanel 19 bag but I do really like it. But otherwise that is all that I have to unbox um, today for my Chanel Christmas haul essentially. Um, if I've uploaded this video before Christmas then I hope that you have a fabulous Christmas day and I'm wishing you a very happy New Year's and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!